It's unfortunate that our battle must end this way. What's the matter? Isn't it too early to give up? Don't go! worry about you for once. You don't have to shoulder the entire burden by yourself.
be. How could I be defeated? How am I the one to disappear? Instead of the endless struggle, wouldn't it be easier to wrap oneself in lies and live in blissful ignorance? Isn't that true peace for humans? How many times do we have to tell you? The hell with that shit! Stop assuming you know us! <laughs> Very well. Then try and live your way. Power enough to erase my existence. You have already exceeded what I thought humanity to be capable of. You have lifted the fog in this world, as well as the fog in your own. And whether that will lead to happiness or not, rests upon your shoulders. Children of man, well done. over now. Yep, this time it's all over. It seems this is more like a beginning for us though. Well, now we've got no regrets for tomorrow. <laughs> How marvelous! You have driven back a godly being and brought about a new world! This will be the last time we summon you here. Soon, the fog will lift and our destination will be visible. We will be arriving shortly. This journey was a fruitful one. Worthy of marking a turning point in your destiny. Many a time along the way did the fog of lies prevent you from moving forth. Yet in every instance, you overcame the temptation of easy exits and false terminals. In forging bonds with those precious to you, you moved closer to the truth, one step at a time. And my heart danced with delight to see you succeed. I am most honored to have borne witness to such a wondrous journey. Our destination is close at hand now. Well then, we have finally come to your journey's true end. Our contract has been fulfilled. My own duties end here as well. You were truly a remarkable guest. Go forth and see with your own eyes. See the world you have won, the bright, magnificent future.
So this is the world inside people's hearts. Yo. Well, this is it. You really are leaving, huh? It hasn't really hit me yet. No more senpai from t tomorrow on! <laughs> hey, quit crying. It's way too soon for that. But... but... <laughs> Sheesh. Um... This stuff's kind of contagious, you know? We gotta put on a good face for Senpai. Hey, bro. Mm -mm. I don't want you to go away. Nanako, didn't you promise that you wouldn't cry? Building a case against a dachi is going pretty smoothly. After all, he's made a full confession to his crimes. There haven't been any more incidents since then. Inaba's finally back to its normal, peaceful self. And Nanako's better now, too. I couldn't ask for anything more. Thanks for everything. To me, you're just as much a part of this family as Nanako. I'm really glad you came to stay with us. Sensei, I finally found a place for me. That's why. I'm going back over there. To make sure it never goes wrong again. I'm going to protect that world from now on. I can finally be proud and say, that world is where I belong. Man, Senpai. This town's gonna feel empty without you. How cruel! Are you even listening? We can see you anytime we want, you dork. Oh, like you'll be gone long. Soon as you start craving something like ice cream, you'll be back in a flash. <laughs> Come on, my honeys. Bluffing that way isn't very cute, you know. You're just gonna be going in and out of the TV at Juness. How's that different from what you've been doing? I can't quite decide what to do. At first I only planned on staying here until the case was completely closed. Maybe I should stick to my original plan, and take the train back with you, Senpai. <laughs> Kidding, of course. I couldn't do something like that. It's not as though we'll never see each other again. Feel free to call me anytime, even if there isn't a case to solve. I don't feel like saying goodbye either. Hey, you got any plans during the long holiday in May? If you're free, come over and visit. With no mysteries to solve, we can have some real fun. I'll make reservations now so that we can stay in my family's inn. Ooh, I can get my revenge for that night. Our surprise sneak attack will work for sure this time. Don't bring that up, you stupid bear. Hey, what happened to going back to that world? That has nothing to do with this. It's entirely different. It's almost time. You better get on the train.
Come back anytime you want. We can eat ramen again. Me and Daisuke will definitely come crash at your place someday. Well, see ya. Good luck over there, too. If anything happens on your end, we'll come running. Until we meet again, Senpai. Senpai, I'll be waiting for you. See ya. Take care. I'll be looking forward to seeing you again. Well, I'll be careful. I'll see you, Big Bro. Bye-bye. <laughs> Run away too, Senpai! I'll always remember our time together! Distance doesn't matter to us!